Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be a team deathmatch on Village. The gun I'm using is the ACR with the silencer, and the kill streaks I'm using are the Predator Missile, Attack Helicopter, and Reaper. But instead of talking about the gameplay, I'm going to talk about something else. This video is going to be very controversial, so if you don't like that, then you might just want to click off the video right now. If you don't like your your gaming brand names being insulted, you this definitely is a vid it definitely isn't the video for you. So, let's get into it. First of all, I've had a lot of you guys sending me PMs about why I don't give away Razor stuff in Gamer's Digest anymore. I know I haven't made a Gamer's Digest in a while. I will be making more in the future. I've just been pretty busy with school, and once the semester ends, I'll be hitting it up a lot more, so very off-topic. Okay, now let's get back into it. A lot of you guys have been wondering why all of a sudden I just stopped giving away Razor stuff. And to be completely and brutally honest, I do not like Razor products anymore. I used to be the biggest Razor fanboy there ever was when they first started up. When they when they first started up and they made products like the Death Adder, it was amazing. The Death Adder was a revolutionary mouse. That that thing was sick, and it's still a good mouse. It was a very well-made, quality piece of hardware. But recently, I haven't been impressed with a single Razer product in years, other than the Razer Black Widow Ultimate. They did a good job with the Black Widow Ultimate. I, I, I'll give credit where credit's due. Good job on that one, Razer. I like it. It's a good keyboard, hasn't broken yet. It's probably not revolutionary. There's other people that make mechanical keyboards for a whole lot cheaper. But, you know, whatever. It, it, it's a good keyboard. It's just a little expensive. But, anyway, back on topic. I've bought the Razer Naga, the Razer Naga Epic, the Megalodon, and the Ironclad. And all four of those things have one thing in common. They're terribly made, and they break easily. I don't know a single person... Actually, I know a few people. I think Dante is the only one that I can name offhand that hasn't broken a Naga yet that's used it for an extended amount of time. I know so many people that have broken Razer Nagas, it's ridiculous. They've had to buy another one because the cord fucks up or the buttons stop working. And it, just a million excuses why they break. And I personally bought the Ironclad. Ironclad was a great mouse pad for a month until the coating started wearing off. Coating started wearing off, fucked up the tracking on the mice, on the mouse, and the mouse just would go all over the place. The laser, it was like it was like there was sand on in the fu inside of the fucking mouse. So that thing was great for a month, turned into a piece of shit, sucked, and it was like $60 for a mouse pad. And then the Megalodon. Oh my god, the Megalodon. Ugh. The sound is okay. It's okay. It's not good enough sound for $150 for whatever it costs. And then the cord starts fucking up, and everyone's had this problem where the cord starts tangling up, and that, in, in turn, messes up the microphone. And the microphone is shit on that on that headset, to be honest. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want this to be negative, but this is my 100% truthful experiences with Razer products thus far. And you can actually go back and look at my older videos where I'm using the Megalodon, and the sound is just staticky and terrible, and there's just a lot of, like, <sighs> noise. Now, you might be saying that with this video, too, but I have my air conditioner on in the background, so, yeah. So, anyway... Back on topic, Razer, they were great. At first, they were great. They made great products. Now, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. They haven't made a very good product, in my eyes, in a long time. And before you say this is just me and that I don't take care of my stuff, the Razer, I gave away, I think, four Razer Nagas. And I shit you not, two of the people that I gave them to said they stopped working within the first two weeks. Two of them. And I think one of them was just a regular Naga, and the other one was a Razer Naga Epic. And both of them stopped working within two weeks. So, yeah, that's my experience with Razer thus far. I'm not holding a grudge against them. If they do make a quality product, I'll buy it. Uh, I'm not holding a grudge. I'm not going to hate them forever. Uh, you know, they might change. So, and until they do, that's my opinion. But <laughs> it was funny, because I was talking to Dante, and for, for some reason, we were in Skype for like three hours, and we ended up getting on the Razer website. And I saw probably the funniest goddamn thing of my entire life. Uh, it's called the Razor Battle Light. Like a light on the ceiling that illuminates the room. The Razor Battle Light. The funniest thing about this product is the product description. And I'm not making this up. It said, gives you the unfair advantage over your opponent in low light situations. As if the guy you're playing against is playing in the dark, and you having this light is going to make you... That much better than him. And, and the real kicker is that this thing isn't cheap. This thing is $20 for a light. And it, it'd be one thing if it did a good job. But if you go look at the reviews on CNET, it's, the people are like, this isn't even a good light. And it, what the fuck? 
that is the literal definition of just throwing a brand name on something and people might buy it. I just, I, I, I didn't even think it was fucking real. I, I thought it was a joke. I had to look at the URL to make sure it was the actual real Razer site. And no, it's it's real. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to the Razer Battle Light. Don't piss me off or I may buy one for you. Again, I'm not making this video just to hate on Razer, to hate on them for no reason. This is my truthful experience with Razer. All of that stuff that I just told you happened. It's real. So, I don't know. I know this video is going to get thumbed down all to hell by a bunch of kids that are just like, Razer is awesome! That's what Swifty uses! But, I don't know. Use your brain. That's all I gotta say. Use your brain, and, ah, that, that, that's it, man. Seriously.